Happy New Year, everyone. Hope everyone's doing great. Hey, I was sick the week before Christmas, so needless to say, I have yet to do pizza review this year, or actually for, I think it's been three weeks. I am heading today to Canton. So I found this on Facebook. Somebody posted a picture, it looked really good. C.F. McCarthy's in Canton. So it's a Irish pub. And as we all know, Irish pubs seem to do pretty well with South Shore bar style pizza. As I get a little closer, I'll either give them a call or I'll try their online ordering system. So this review for South Shore bar style pizza will be my 96th review. Four more to hit 100 South Shore bar style pizzas. After which, I will try to reevaluate my top 10. So I did my top 10 when I had hit 50 pizza reviews. So I'll try it again at 100 and see where we're at. And at this point in the game, after reviewing so many places, trying to narrow it down to only 10 is going to be next to impossible. But I will try. There are just so many great places out there. I know I can eliminate maybe 30 of them. So I'll be down to 70 to try to come up with 10. That should be fun. Put the order in as I always do. I ordered it with bacon on all of it and mushroom on half of it. And for those of you that have not been with me since the beginning, when I first started, I was getting bacon and mushroom on all of it. A lot of the viewers told me that mushrooms, because of their moisture content, changes the pizza, primarily the cheese. After listening and experimenting, I realized they were right. The mushrooms have a lot of moisture in them and they affect the, the pizza, they affect the cheese. Although I do like mushrooms, so I'm still getting it on half of the pizza, trying to get my own baseline. A lot of people say, oh, you should do just cheese. Well, I don't want to do just cheese. I don't like just cheese. I don't order just cheese. So I order bacon and mushroom. That's just what I'm doing, because I'm trying to find my top 10, my favorite places. If you happen to like them too, that's great. So I'm not that familiar with Canton but it's saying that it should be coming right up on the... Your destination is on the right. A little pooped right there. Let's head on in. So pizza was ready within minutes from when I walked in. So they were right on time. As far as I'm concerned, I got there a couple minutes early, waited two minutes, and it's in a box. Smells unbelievable. Take a quick peek. That looks pretty damn good. The mushrooms look really good. In fact, I cannot wait. Fresh mushrooms. They're good. Got a little lacing around there. And again, I don't order it laced. Undercarriage looks perfect. This looks like it's going to be a good pizza. So I'm going to go find a place to have it. Way too hot to have right now. So I found a little vacant uh, parking lot at Canton Aquatic Center. This pizza smells really good. Got a little fancy thing, some fancy stuff going on with it, but I don't know what the green, I think it's parsley I put on there. Bacon is chopped up. Right away I can tell the, the dough. It's gonna have a little chew to it. Got a little flop right now, but it is still very hot. Mmm. The dough does have some chew to it. The chopped up bacon is still good. Still, I think it's fresh bacon. Very light sauce. As I always say, that's a good characteristic of a South Carolina style pizza. It's got a little lace on the edges. 
like I said, the, the dough is a little on the thicker side. In other words, hoop cheese is very thin. Linwood is thicker. This is more towards a Linwood style. A good amount of chew to that dough. Doesn't make it bad, I'm just trying to explain it. The cheese is a blend, and I would say it's not heavy on the on the sharp cheddar. Seltzer about style is known for you can kind of tell when you when you get these stringy pieces that they have a little more mozzarella on there. Again, doesn't make it bad. I'm just explaining what kind of cheeses are on there in case you lean towards the cheddar or the mozzarella. Some of the older style, I will say, 100% cheddar. Usually it's a Wisconsin cheddar. This is not. This is very good. Good amount of bacon on there. So the toppings, they don't skimp. A little bit of crunch to the outside, but a little chew to it. And as I said at the beginning, the sauce, very, very light. It also looks like they do a sprinkling of some hard cheese after it comes out. This is the mushroom side. A lot more flop to the mushroom side, but as I was saying earlier, that's one of the things that the mushrooms do is it adds moisture to the, to the pizza overall. So you're gonna get more flop. Those mushrooms, if you like mushrooms, very good. Having a hard time giving you what I think the sauce tastes like because it is <clears throat> very light. It's a damn good pizza. Highly recommend you go try them. I'm gonna <clears throat> have this, shut the camera off for a little bit, work my way through the pizza, and I'll come back with my final thoughts. I'll see if any of the other pieces have a little more sauce on them. Can't really rate the sauce right now, which is maybe a good thing because it's, it's not overpowering. I'll be back with my final thoughts. So I'm back. I'll tell you, it was a damn good pizza. Undercarriage cooked perfectly. The mushrooms are so good. I think he's sauteing them in garlic. They taste so good, garlic and butter most likely. The little parsley sprinkled on top is, is pretty cool. The, uh, the hard cheese that he finishes off, it off with when it comes out of the oven. Slightly laced edges without ordering it that way. Very good. Very light on sauce. Again, I can't give you a great analysis of the sauce, but it doesn't matter. The pizza tastes very good. This guy's doing his own thing. The dough is not biscuit-like, buttery like uh, some of the South Shore Bastille pizzas are. It's his own dough. I can't say enough good things about it, but the bacon isn't the way that I like it, but it's, it's fresh and it's very good. It is chopped up. A lot of people do like it that way. So if you like your bacon chopped up and fresh, it's not bacon bits, it's, it's fresh bacon. If you like mushroom pizza, you've got to get a pizza with mushroom on it. This pizza, I can't find anything bad about it. It's a little bit different than some of the South Shore Bar style pizzas. It doesn't matter. It's still a South Shore Bar style pizza. It's cooked in a 10 inch pan. It has some laced edges, the toppings and cheese, and, and if there is sauce on there, now there's sauce on there, it's very light. Spread all the way to the edges. It's a South Shore Bar style pizza, but in its own category. It's really good. Get over there. Tell them Russ sent you. And please go down, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the comments. Whatever you can do to help me out, I appreciate it. Number 95, no, 96 in the books. Hopefully I'll be back soon with the next four to hit 100. Hey, thanks for growing this channel. We have over 1,700 subscribers right now. Heading towards 2,000. We've been heading towards 2,000 for a while, but we're getting there.